Here in South Sudan, UNMIS has two fundamental jobs, protecting civilians from the conflict in the country and building durable peace. If we are able to achieve that, we will have done an enormous service for the people of South Sudan. I work with energy because I want to save the life of my people in my own country. So we lost a lot of people during the war. We don't want to lose some people. Our long-term vision for South Sudan, though, is to try and ensure that we can move away from the need for humanitarian relief programs and build on the development action of this country to help communities really look after themselves and deal with the entrenched isolation and inequity that is the scourge of so many citizens in this great country. We are preparing for preventing and as well responding to health emergencies in South Sudan. In the past year, together with partners and the Ministry of Health, we have vaccinated about 1.4 million people against cholera, over 960,000 children against measles, and about 3,000 health workers against Ebola in high-risk locations. As humanitarians, we are trying to respond to, to affected uh, population by flood, uh, by providing uh, clean drinking water, health services and nutrition services. As you can see, we are using uh, our boat to assess the situation of people, whereby uh, the flood has uh, taken most of the shelters and people are really in, uh, in, in the need of humanitarian assistance. I'm always very happy to be able to serve humanity because uh, that is the only way I can be able to help uh, mankind because there are very many challenges uh, we have uh, in life and uh, people are very vulnerable especially in this part of uh, the world in South Sudan. One key activity that UNHCR, in coordination with the government counterpart in South Sudan, the humanitarian agencies, is the continuation of the delivery of humanitarian and protection services to persons of concerns in the refugee camps and the host community. There has also been coordinated and strengthened access to basic services such as healthcare, safe water, sanitation and provision of food while adhering to the COVID-19 prevention measures. For South Sudan, we still have about 6.5 million, which is about 54% of the population who are chronically hungry. It is very important 
that this number is moved to zero. So the Food and Agriculture Organization, the partners and the government are working hand in hand to ensure that in the agriculture sector, crops, food, livestock, we enhance this to exit this country from food aid. In South Sudan, UNOP enables its partners to make infrastructural improvements to support sustainable development and improve peace and security. We enhance vital connectivity via roads, bridges, and rivers to facilitate both humanitarian access and economic development. When I grow up, I want to be a president of South Sudan because I want to help people from the fighting. I, I want to be a teacher, engineer, doctor. I want to be a pastor. <laughs> <laughs>